Hello, Ram fans, and welcome to the third edition of the Softball Ram Roundup. Uh, I'm joined, of course, by head coach Bridget Orchard, and I'll be joined later with junior outfielder Chelsea Skrepinak. Uh, coach, since I last spoke to you, nothing but wins. Still on this long winning streak. Um, let me just get your general thoughts the last couple weekends of play and the team's success. I'm just really proud of them, the way they pulled together. Obviously, we started out really tough. Was, we did that by design to kind of get, you know, see what they're made of, see if they can come back from the failure. And they, I'm really proud of them, just the way that they're able to come back from losing early on and then kind of going on this stretch and kind of seeing what we really have. And we've gotten so much better from the beginning to the end. We always talk about it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So we're coming into the finish. We really hope we can pull it through. Um, and a big part of that team success has been in the circle between uh, Matty Augenbaugh and uh, Paige Rao. Uh, I know I brought this stat up last time, but during that winning streak, and it's still the same, um, aside from five runs that St. Louis scored in the series finale, it's been zero to two runs, and that's obviously a testament to the, your two underclassmen pitchers who have formed a really great one-two punch for you. Um, how wonderful is that to, to rely on them game to game, and how much have they grown this season? Yeah, it's great. Like I said, I knew we were going to get better as the year went on, and they've shown it for themselves. Obviously, with them pitching well, but our defense is better. We're a little more solid. We kind of know who's going to play where. They're more comfortable. They're more confident. And I think as the game's gone, every game we play, we're getting better. And I think that's what we wanted to see come this time of year is that we're at our top at the end of the year for postseason. I think that we're definitely coming in a good spot right now. And I wanted to single out on the, on the hitting side. I mean, she's a tremendous fielder, too, but uh, Chelsea's grown so much between her underclassmen years this year leading the team in batting average flirting with a 400 batting average uh, most recently um, what kind of growth have you seen from her between last year this year and how she she's handling her season this year? I think it's just comfort as well. I think she's confident. She's stepping it up. She's a leader this year. She knows that we're relying on her. So I think she does better when the pressure is on. She does better when she's in that leadership role and kind of having to produce where in the past, you know, freshman, sophomore year, she had people ahead of her that were kind of getting it done. So I think for her this year, she knows if I don't get it done, it's not getting done. So I think she stepped up and really letting that role knowing, okay, offensive, they're going to rely on me. I'm in the top of the spot. She's betting two for us, and she knows she gets on. I think in one of the games, they intentionally walk Paige, and she kept up and hit home run, and that's just typical Chelsea. If you're going to give her the opportunity or give her the shot, she's going to take advantage of it. I was just going to say, she's the type of person that if you put her in this position and give her that pressure, she'll flourish, right? So uh, last question, uh, big weekend series coming up. Obviously, you've made some statements in conference play, uh, sweeping Dayton on the road, but now you got UMass, top undefeated last undefeated team in the conference top two teams how excited are you for this weekend we're excited we really we've had the long i feel like this is a really long week we've been practicing every day just you know kind of getting ready for it get ready for the series they knew this was coming they knew that we've been practicing and we you know kind of played early on got some tough losses early to prepare for these games coming up so i think that they're ready and they're more excited to get it done all right for sure thank you coach Great, thanks now i'm joined by junior center fielder chelsea skrepanak chelsea um thanks for joining me no problem rhino <laughs> I've been trying to get you uh, for a couple roundups now. You've had, been enjoying a really tremendous junior season, so I want to get your thoughts on uh, how it's been going so far. Big leap up from your underclassmen years, and you're leading the team in batting average, having a great season. What's been going on for you? I mean, honestly, we've had team success, so that's always great. Um, I've had that my past two years, so this year it's a little bit different to be able to have a big contribution to the team. Um, that always feels really, really good. Uh, in terms of my season, I mean, Stats are stats. As long as we're winning, that's that's really all that matters to me. Um, I'm having the same amount of fun as I did the past two years, as long as uh, we get that title. For sure. Um, and now, standing in your way, at least, of getting to this conference tournament that's in two weeks, amazingly, um, is UMass this weekend. So how long have you had this circled? I mean, it's a battle of the top two teams. Um, big history and rivalry there. Uh, how excited are you for this weekend? Beyond excited. I'm so ready. I think our team is so ready. Um, we've done this the past two years, UMass, UMass. and. You know, we took down Dayton early in the season, which was a big, big statement for us. Everyone thought, you know, we lost some, some really good seniors and had some transfers. So that's been a little tough. But the new faces, you know, they're doing a really good job. I think this team has a lot of chemistry, uh, but we, we are so ready for UMass, you know, on our home field. Uh, it's, it's honestly great that they're undefeated, so we could make an even bigger statement. Uh, but I, I just can't wait. The girls can't wait. And we're ready to get after it. I love it. Um, and uh, off the field, I know you're a big part of ROTC here. Uh, very active with it. And Sunday, if you want to explain better than I can uh, what is happening this Sunday before Sunday's series finale. So I have a little swearing in ceremony into uh, the best branch of the military, the Army, Army Strong. Uh, and it's just going to be, um, you know, a little ceremony with uh, my uh, Lieutenant Colonel Lynn, who has been in charge of me the past two years. Um, it's going to mean a lot to me just because, you know, as hard as I've worked on the field and I've worked even harder off the field with ROTC and, you know, with even uh, Bridget allowing me to do to do this is it means a lot. Uh, so I'm just I'm really excited to um, be able to swear in and, you know, just know that as soon as softball is over, I have, you know, a set career path where I get to serve my country and no better feeling than that. 
Awesome. Um, so Sunday, half hour about before uh, first pitch. That's this Sunday series finale. We'll be honoring her and swearing her in. Thank you. No problem, Rana. That'll do it for this week's edition of the Ram Roundup. Thank you to head coach Bridget Orchard, as always, and Chelsea Skrepinak for joining me this week. Uh, big weekend series coming up against UMass, top two teams in the A-10. That Saturday's doubleheader starts at noon, and Sunday's series finale starts at 1 p.m. And come out early to honor Chelsea as she gets sworn into the Army a half hour before first pitch, uh, about 12.30 on Sunday. And Ram fans, if you're going to be here this weekend, you're going to be here the next two weekends as well after that. We host LaSalle to round out the regular season three-game series the following weekend. And after that, the A-10 championship is here at Bohoshi Field. Sorry, on Wednesday, May 9th. Stay tuned with uh, everything, all things softball on the A-10 at FordhamSports.com and at FordhamSoftball on Twitter. And we hope to see you out here at Bohoshi, and thanks for watching.